We just stopped in Dakar in Senegal. Isn't it funny how a port never looks how you expect it to? We're off to explore. Dakar offers a number of things to do, from a walk around the city, to a visit to a village, or a folklore show. There is a safari, a trip round a lake, but we chose to visit Gori Island, one of the places where slaves were exported from. So on Viking, you have to set your device to the number of your coach to get the guide. Gori Island is a tiny car-free island just off the coast of Senegal, opposite Dakar. From the 15th to the 19th century, it was the largest slave trading center on the African coast. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Center. 20 million slaves were exported from Gori Island. Gori Island changed hands many times. We've just arrived at Gori Island and we're about to start our tour. The white houses were French houses. The pinky houses were precious houses and yellow houses were Portuguese houses. The Portuguese first took it in 1444. The Dutch took it in 1588. England, 1664, and then the French, in 1677. So we're going to tour the slave houses, then the fort, then the museum. This house also is a kind of hotel, a guest house. In the left side, huh? it was also a colonial house, but it's renewed. Huh? Because some tourists also often spend the night in Gore. The architecture of Gore also is the same as the architecture of the colonial town from St. Louis. It's the north of Senegal. The capital of the West and French African colonies was in St. Louis, but they translated the capital in Dakar in 1902. We have there a baobab tree. This tree you see here over there don't have leaves because during the dry season from November until end of June, most of the baobab trees lose the leaves. The next rainy season will be in July and October, the leaves will get green. Yeah. But when you see in the top of the tree, we have a fruit. And this fruit name monkey bread. And this kind of juice can be used as local emojum just to nurse the stomach disease and the diarrhea. Sometimes we meet the whole entire family, father, mother, and children. If separate of sale, to leave this compound here, depend to the slave traders. They send the father in Louisiana, USA, the mother, Brazil or Cuba, the child, West Indies or French or West Indies. It was really a total separation. But my friends, they never live with their African original name. They get, they go in with numbers. Once they get to the plantation, they obtain the name of their master. My friends, look at the three rooms in front of you. They put 15 to 20 people inside. They chain them at the next uncles. They are free once a day to enable them to satisfy themselves outside for the toilet, you know, the small garden over there. The famous door of no return, you hear? This is the door of no return. From here, it's by by Africa. They don't come back. Uh, my friend, I guess, in this compound here, lock of water, no water at all. This is the door of no return, but I shouldn't think they wanted to come back here. So the slave traders abused the women, and if they got pregnant, that was their only way of freedom. This is the upstairs, and this is where the European slave traders lived.
said that that white one is from Dakar Beach. Uh, this one going to the Big Lake, this one is from there. Uh, this one is from the area again in Senegal. Uh, this is from Tenere Desert. Uh, the that I was saying that the volcanic, the black one is the volcanic uh, sand. Uh, they mix the colors so that they can have what you want to their designs. You see, they mix white and black or... Yes. Voilà, et ça c'est de la colle et on dessine avec, avant de projeter nos différentes couleurs de sable. Il dit qu'ils font le glue avec uh, différentes couleurs de sable. Le glue est fait par le côté du bâle. Après, on va voir le résultat final. Il va vous montrer le résultat. Maintenant, on va faire sécher nos frais. And this church has a church from San Luis, has the same architecture. And the church name Carlo Borromeo. Carlo Borromeo was an Italian bishop from Milan. And Carlo Borromeo was a bishop from Milan in 1535. Yeah? Over there we have a football garden for the kids. This is the old governor's building. There have been many attempts to renovate it into a hotel, but it hasn't happened yet. And after the museum, we stand in a bar to have a drink before we go back to the hotel, or to the ship. The old fort is now a museum to the abolition of slavery. Find the other places we've visited on our YouTube channel, youtube.com at Doris Visits, or dorisvisits.com, our website. Thanks for watching. Please share. And if you have the chance and fancy reading a holiday book, try my book, Cruise Ship Heist. It's available on Apple Books, YouTube Play, Google Play, and Amazon. Travel safely.